Yeah. Analytics off the chain, all the channels not the same. Jake and Kyle, you know the name. Headline of Nation, we running the game. Yo, what is going on, Headliner Nation? The big breaking news, obviously, this morning. Derrick Henry more than likely lost for the season. And I want to provide a quick update for you on that. Plus, Tennessee bringing in Adrian Peterson. They are signing him to the practice squad. And then we'll be elevating him in time for this week's game, it sounds like. So, and by this week, I mean next week. It is Monday, but you get what I mean, Headliner Nation. But anyway, so... Talked with Dr. Ethan Turner a little bit ago, and it sounds like Derrick Henry is going to be having surgery on his foot tomorrow. I'm recording this on Monday, if you're hearing it, on Tuesday, whatever. He's having the surgery on Tuesday. They said that the time frame could be 6 to 10 weeks. Talking to Ethan, he said that the probability of him being back in 6 or 7 weeks is like 5 to 10%. That maybe it's eight, nine weeks, but whatever, if it ends up being on the further side of that time frame, he's not going to be available to you during the rest of the regular season for fantasy football. And then probably only those of you that own him that make it deep into the playoffs may have him available. If for some reason Tennessee loses out or starts losing, they're not going to rush him back this season. If they can make it to the playoffs, maybe they try to get him in of a game like the first, last couple of weeks of the season. But then at that point, are you trusting Derrick Henry in the last week? Whatever, it, it, it just doesn't bode well. So if you own Derrick Henry, more than likely he is done for the year. You're not going to see him again in your lineups the rest of the year. Tennessee making moves this morning. They brought in Adrian Peterson for a workout, and then they signed him. So he is headed, per Ian Rapoport to the Tennessee Titans. They're going to be putting him on the practice squad and then elevating him to the roster. Now, what does this mean? Well, I talked about Jeremy McNichols already in the waiver wire video. He's a good pass catching option. But Adrian Peterson is going to be a guy that is going to get the majority of the touches on the ground. I do not anticipate the Tennessee Titans making a huge overhaul to how they run their offense. Now, are they going to be giving Adrian Peterson 30 touches a game? That I don't think so. But they're still going to be working through the run game. So I think we're going to see a heavy dosage of Adrian Peterson and Jeremy McNichols while they continue to throw the ball as well. It would be great if Julio Jones could get healthy and out there 100%, but he hasn't been, which basically still leaves A.J. Brown as the number one target. You can't really run an offense throwing it all those times a game and become a pass-heavy offense if one of your stars is hurt and you only have one other one. I mean, last year they had Corey Davis. They had John U. Smith. They had other guys that they could rely on. This year it's been kind of a mix and match with, uh, obviously, with John U. Smith being gone. Corey Davis being gone, and Julio Jones being hurt more often than not. So they're still going to be running the ball quite often. Adrian Peterson at this point becomes my number one waiver priority on the week. If you are desperate for running back depth, this is going to be a guy that you're going to want to add right away. Do not miss out on it. We're at the point of the season now where if you're desperate for running back help, I'm adding or I'm, I'm, I'm bringing him in. All my fab, if I need to, top waiver priority, what it may be, you got to bring them in. Is a trade still potentially in the works? Maybe the trade deadline is still a couple of days away. It's still an opportunity to make something work. Still could bring in another running back. But I think them signing Adrian Peterson is probably a pretty good indication that they're not getting anybody that they feel helps the team a lot more than Adrian Peterson that maybe they don't need to overpay for. So with that being said, Adrian Peterson will probably be the lead back the rest of the season. Now, his father time caught up to Adrian Peterson. I don't necessarily think that's true. If you take a look back at his numbers over the last couple of years, since he left Minnesota, he had that very brief stint with New Orleans and Arizona that didn't work out. And then he went to Washington in 2018. And when he was with Washington, he ran for 1,042 yards. He averaged 4.2 yards a carry. He had seven touchdowns. He still had a little bit of juice. And then with Washington in 2019, oh, and he had 251 carries that season. In 2019, he had 211 carries, right? 211 carries, 
five touchdowns, ran for 898 yards, played in 15 games that season, wasn't used as much. We saw it dial back down. He leaves Washington. He goes to Detroit last season, played in all 16 games last season, ran for 604 yards and seven touchdowns behind a defense or an offensive line that wasn't that great, that was behind a majority of the time, so they were passing it more often than not, but he was still finding a way to make some sort of an impact. Uh, for his attempts per game, he averaged 15.7 in 2018, then 14.1 in 2019. He averaged almost 10 attempts last uh, last season. Makes you know, does he make that? Is he going to make that you know obvious uh, help in the passing game? No, he's not going to pick that up. That's going to be Jeremy McNichols out of the backfield. He's going to get that. But is it crazy to think that Adrian Peterson is going to see 15 attempts a game the rest of the season? I don't think so. As long as they don't bring in anybody else, Adrian Peterson getting 15 attempts a game with Ryan Tannehill and A.J. Brown there still helping out with a pretty good offensive line still. I mean, it's not as good as that we had saw at one point in time. We're not going to see Derrick Henry numbers, but Adrian Peterson should still be able to average four yards a carry without an issue, and we're going to see him get around probably 15 carries a game. We may even see him get to 20 carries a game at some point. Maybe it takes a couple of weeks. Maybe not this week he's getting it. Maybe not next week. Get built up a little bit. Get familiar in the system and get rolling. But he could come just in time for the stretch run and get you all ready to head into the playoffs and help. Numbers-wise, low-end running back two probably the rest of the season. Not a whole lot more than that. He's going to get the goal line opportunities as well, which will always help. But I don't anticipate numbers where you're saying, oh, he has a smash start every single week, at least not at least not right away. But if he's giving you even low-end RB2 numbers for the injuries that we've had, inconsistencies at some of the positions, this is still a really good opportunity for some of you to run out there and grab a running back that could absolutely help your team the rest of the season. As far as Jeremy McNichols goes, PPR leagues, probably the only area that I'm going to be adding him. If you're in a half PPR league, super deep roster, 16 teams, then maybe try to add him still at that point, and you can use him, especially in matchups that are going to be a lot tougher. I do expect McNichols to still see a decent amount of work in the passing game. We could use him potentially as kind of that flex option at different times this season if possible, but this is the guy. Adrian Peterson is probably going to be the guy the rest of the season that's going to get the majority of the work. Keep an eye on all the news though. Keep an eye on potential trades. Obviously, if they were to bring somebody else in, trade for somebody, that could change things greatly. But as of right now, they're trying to move quick. Bringing Adrian Peterson in seems like a pretty decent move for the time being. Yes, father time is probably getting closer, but it's AP all day, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, appreciate you tuning in. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below. What do you think Adrian Peterson is going to do the rest of the season? Appreciate you all tuning in real quick. I'm going to get out of here, though. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll catch you all in the next episode of the Fantasy Headliners. Analytics, all the chain, all the channels, not the same. Jake and Kyle, you know the name. Headline Nation, we running the game. Y'all stuck on third down. Your content's plain Jane. Headliners on top now. We gonna move and change. Podcast, off the rip. Draft guy, so legit. Fantasy world, our game tight. You know we about that job life. Stuck in a rut and you need some motivation. Face your head to the channel for this Headliner Nation. I'm a headliner.